Hi everyone, my name is Tony and I am showing you my Nintendo Switch collection for 2024. It's only 75 games, but I still think it's a pretty good collection. So here we go. Here's the first game. So the first game up is Bayonetta. So I really like this game. It's a lot of fun and I haven't beaten this yet because I just got it. So you know what? I will be beating this again because I already beat it on the 360 once. Next game on the list is Hunt Down. This is a really cool side scroller, and if you're really into like side scrollers, Metroidvania games, this game is very nice, very fun, very simplistic. So if you really like them, pick this game up. Next game is called Val Ferris. It's another game like Hunt Down, and so you know what? It's just action shooting with big guns, killing aliens. Really fun, really like this game. Haven't beaten it yet, but we'll see. Next game is the Double Dragon Collection. So this has the NES, the Super NES, Game Boy Advanced, Double Dragon games, and you know, I never bothered with the NES back when I was a kid, so, cause I was more into Sega. So it's good to have this collection because I really love beat em ups and you know, I started a couple of these and they're really fun. Next game on the list, limited run game. So this is Death Wish Enforcers. Death Wish Enforcers is a really funny game. Very old school, throwback to the 80s because I grew up in the 80s and it is really, really cool. So, you know, you're going to see a lot of limited run games because I buy limited run games for the Switch a lot. So, here we go. Okay. Next game on the list is Alien Isolation, the complete collection. So this has all the DLCs and in and, and the base game. And then so that's why I bought it because this is the complete edition. And I played maybe like 10 minutes of it, but you know what, it's still a fun game. You know, for a first person shooter, it's still pretty cool. Next up on the list is another limited run games, River City Girls 1. This is a great beat em up. And I, I can't say enough good, good things about this game, but I've had a lot of fun with this beat em up. And uh, you know what? Because I mainly collect for my Switch are, are beat em ups and schmups. So you're going to see a lot of beat em ups and schmups when this collection. So, next game up is one of my favorite games for, for the series it's Fire Emblem. I, I really think this is a terrific strategy RPG game. You know, in the vein of Shining Force, if you like those games, then Fire Emblem Engage is right up your alley. This is a really good game. Next game on the list, Blasphemous 1. Very hard, very frustrating Metromania game, but it is very fun once you really get into it and you understand the mechanics. And next game is Blasphemous 2. Another sweet game. You know, just like the first one, probably, in my opinion, better than the first one. But, you know what, it's still a great game. So, collect it. You won't regret it. And then, one of my favorite strategy RPGs, Triangle Strategy. This game is awesome. I love this game. I've played this game for hours, and can't say enough good things about it. And the next game, one of my favorite fighting games, is Chaos Code. Really cool. Japanese. Got it from PlayAsia. Really good, really good 2D fighter. And I love it. It's awesome. And then probably one of my favorite games that I that I played for the beat em up genre, Jujitsu Squad. This game is awesome. One probably one of the best beat em ups I've ever played. Maybe my top five. I don't know because I played a whole bunch, but this one is such an awesome over the top game. Tons of fun. Next game is a shoot 'em up Castle Shiganami 2. Great shoot 'em up. Played this on the 360 or was it on Xbox? Oh, one of the two. And uh, this game is a ton of fun. Still a ton of fun. They, the shoot 'em ups never go outdated. And then next game is another limited run game. The Donna Petty Resurrection Collection. This is an awesome, awesome shoot 'em up. 
you just can't get enough of schmucks, especially when they're just as good. Don Apache is definitely one of my, my favorite series. So pick this up if you ever get a chance. It's a limited run game, but if you find it, pick it up. And another sitting with the schmups is ESP Galuga 2, another awesome schmups game. So, you know, I do like a lot of cave games, and these are insanely expensive on the 360, so I'm glad Limited Run released them like this for the Nintendo Switch because it's gr these games are great to have in your collection. And last but not least for this deck is Shinkani Hotano. I know I butchered that, but you know what? Sorry. But you know what? This is another awesome beat, you know, another awesome shmups. So, you know, you know, uh, it's done by uh, East Asia Soft. So, and you can no longer get this game on digital. So, if you ever find a physical copy, buy it because this is probably going to go up a lot. So, all right. So now let's go to stack number stack number two. Okay, so now step two is Yulikan Chronicles Rising. A good action RPG. Have you know I haven't really delved too much into it. I've only played like about ten minutes of it, but you know what I played, it's fun. And then sticking with the RPGs, we got Saga Frontier. Another good, another another good RPG. I've only played like ten minutes of it, but I have, you know, it was one of what I played. So, and then another limited run game here is Windjammers 2. So, I really love the first Windjammers on the Neo Geo, and that's why I had to pick up the sequel. This one is just as good as the first one. And then now we go to the horror genre with Tormented of Souls. This game is really fun, it's really awesome. If you haven't played it, pick it up, play it on PS5, Xbox, Switch, you won't regret it. In a game that I didn't like at all, but I thought it was kind of janky, G.I. Joe Retaliation. This game, not very good. So, But I love G.I. Joe, that's why I had to pick it up. In another game, Cobra Kai, Dojo Rising 1. If you love your beat-em-ups, this one's a really good beat-em-up. I have, I've had a lot of fun with this game. And sticking with shooters, we have the Psycho Collection Volume 3. This has some of, the, some of, some of my favorites, like Zero Gunner 2 and Strikers 1945. Really great collection. If you find it, buy it. And next on the list is Wonder Boy Dragon Trap. I bought this because this was a Sega Master game back in the day from when I was a kid, and this game is really good too. Another Metroidvania style game, Blazing Chrome from Limited Run. This game is really cool. I really enjoy it. It's like it's like Val Ferris and Hunt Down. You just shoot aliens and whatever. Ton of fun. And then Dark Siders Genesis is the next game. I really like this game. It really plays really well, so I recommend if you see this game too, pick it up. Next game on the list is Zombieland Double Tap. This game's okay. Not 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 a great game, but you know what? It's good to have in the collection. And another game, limited run, the takeover. Still sealed because I downloaded the digital edition because it had it on sale because I forgot that I ordered this so you know what that's why it's so sealed because if I want to play it I just play the digital another limited run game pick it up if you ever get a chance so another game Metroid Dread this game is really cool I love Metroid and uh, this game was really a lot of fun and I enjoyed the heck out of this one another good strategy RPG is Aria Chronicle another good one I haven't beaten it yet, but I plan to. And another game that's really good, hack and slashy, is No More Heroes 3. Um, you know, I love this series. No More Heroes 1 and 2 were great, and this one's just as good. And then, last but not least for this stack, we have Samurai Force Shing. Another beat-em-up, hack and slash, 
whatever you want to call it, Metroidvania type game, but this game's a lot of fun too. So you know what, if you see this game out in the wild, pick it up. Alright, Stack 3. Alright, starting off with a gauntlet style game called Battle Axe. This game's really cool because Battle Axe is just like Gauntlet. If you, if you love Gauntlet, this game is a game that you want. And the next one is a strictly limited game, Cannon Dancer. You know, this game is for the fan of Striders. If you love Strider, old school 80s arcade type game, this game as a sequel to Strider is excellent. Definitely pick it up when you got a chance. Next up, but not least, a game that I've beaten a couple times, Bayonetta 3. This game, wow, I really, I really enjoyed this game for just doing things a little bit different, and it's a lot of fun. Pick this up, I recommend it. And then we have now the SNK Anniversary Collection. So, you know what, this has a few good games, but you know what, I don't play this a lot, so... You know, I just bought it because I'm, I'm a big SNK guy. And then now, we have House of the Dead Remake. This game's pretty cool, but it would be better if it had a light gun. But, you know what? It's still House of the Dead, and House of the Dead's always fun. Okay, a game that I have yet to start playing yet, Romancing Saga 3. So, don't know much about this because I haven't started yet, but I plan to play it one day. But one day today. Next on the list is Yeast Nine. So you know what? I haven't I haven't played this one either. So plan to after I beat Yeast Eight. But you know what? It's next on the list to beat. And then next we have another shoot 'em up limited run, Misha Mani Sama. This is an excellent, excellent shmup cave game, bullet hell, whatever you want to call it. This game is excellent. If you get a chance for a limited run to pick this up, buy it. I recommend it. Next on the list, another beat 'em up, Final Vendetta. This game is awesome. I've, I've had a lot of fun with Final Vendetta, and if you get a chance, buy this one. You will not regret it. This game's a lot of fun. You know, and the next game is Taxi Chaos because you know because I love Crazy Taxi, and this is in that vein. Not as fun as Crazy Taxi, but it's still it's still really, really good. And then this is another limited run game from the uh, uh, Ruby game. So, you know what? This was okay. I mean, this is looks like a PS4 game, and it plays like a PS4 game. Where you do a lot of the same stuff. And, you know, it's, I kind of got bored with it real quick. But, you know what? I'm glad I got it. And then one of my favorites... The Ninja Gaiden Collection for the Switch. So this has not the original Ninja Gaiden 1 and 2, but it's the, the Sigma series, but it's Ninja Gaiden. It plays the same. Ninja Gaiden is awesome no matter what era, remastered, whatever. This, you know, these games are just a ton of fun, and pick this collection up because you will not regret it. And then sticking with the shmups, we have Death Smiles 1 and 2. Great shmups, you know, a, a little cutesy, but it's still a lot of fun, and this is another great collection to have if, you, if you're a Death Smiles fan. And then now we have the original Windjammers 1 for the Neo Geo. This game, well, what can you say? It's Windjammers. Windjammers is fun. It's easy to pick up, you know, you know, especially when you have friends over it, and you just play the heck out of it. So, another recommendation. It's, a, it's another limited run game. Because I like buying from Limited Run. And then next is Fatal Frame. I accidentally bought the Japanese version because I thought this was going to be patched to English, but they didn't patch it to English, and you know what? So it's kind of hard to play in Japanese when they're telling you what to do and you have no idea what's going on. But it's still a fun game from, from what I got through. Alright, that stack's over with. Alright, stack number four. Okay. Another game I really like, an RPG, I Am Setsuna. This game's a lot of fun. Very grandiose. 
you know, you know, because Grandian games are really cool, and you know, you can't go wrong with a game that I, I can I would consider a spiritual successor, but you know, it's a fun game to have. One of the very first Nintendo Switch games, and then next is Knights of the Old Republic, still sealed because I still have my original OG Xbox version, and uh, I just wanted another physical copy of this game because this is one of my favorite R RPGs to ever play. Great story, great gameplay, great everything. I mean, this was the predecessor to the Mass Effect series. So, I mean, a lot of elements in this game you, you, you do see in Mass Effect. So, but this game started it all first. So, you know, I definitely have to play it because this game is a ton of fun. And then next is... Pokemon Tournament DX. You know, not one of my favorite fighters, but you know what? I had fun with with what I played. So, you know, I'll give it an A. And then, you know, in the Hack and Slash beat him up, Dynasty War style, you got Fire Emblem Warriors, which, you know what? Just running around cutting people up or things or whatever, man. That's always fun, especially when you're doing it in the uh, Fire Emblem world, society, or whatever you want to say, but still, this is really cool. And then, of course, you gotta have Mario Kart Deluxe 8, because it's Mario Kart, and Mario Kart's games are always such a ton of fun, so, definitely. I know everybody has this in, in their collection, but so do I. And then next is Blaze Blues Central Faction Special Edition. I love the Blaze Blue series as as a fighting game. I'm not really that great at it, but still, I love to play Blaze Blue, and I've always had a ton of fun with this game with the characters and the very the over the topness of everything. So, pick this up if you ever get a chance. And then, of course, last but not least, you gotta have everything. You gotta have Street Fighter because Street Fighter is. Street Fighter, Street Fighter. So it, it, it's a, always fun. It's always going to be good because it's Street Fighter. And everybody loves Street Fighter. The game that I played kind of halfway through only is Octopath Traveler. I really love this game. And uh, I just ran out of time. And, you know, I just haven't beaten it yet. But I will beat it so that way I can go and play the second one that I have. So but I want to beat this one first. So then. And then go on to Octopath, Octopath Traveler 2. And then, well, you know what? We got Streets of Rage 4. What can you say about this game? This game is just completely badass. A lot of fun. I mean, anything Streets of Rage is always fun. You know, from the first one to this one. And then hopefully the remake will be just as good as these uh, 2D beat em ups. Because, I mean, this game was a lot of fun. And, uh, and then we got another one, Ultimate Lions 3. I, lo I love these games. I love the first two. I love that they did next one. And Ultimate Lions 3 is just as good as any of the other ones, in my opinion. And then Super Smash Bros. Everyone's got to have this in, in their collection because Nintendo makes it and can't go wrong with it. So, not my favorite. I mean, I'm not, I'm not a big Smash, Smash guy, but you know what? I, I do dabble in it. But, you know, that's about it. Last but not least, Code of Princess EX. Great game. Side scroller, hack and slash. I don't know why, why a lot of people don't talk about this game, but this game, a lot of fun. And then now we have the Psycho Collection Volume 1. You know what? This has Gunbird, this has Strikers 45. Samurai Aces, all games that are expensive on other systems, you can get it in this collection. So if you, if you like shmups, old school, you gotta pick up this collection. And then next, Shaq Fu. Good beat em up. I mean, it's Shaq, so I mean, you can only, only do so much, but uh, yeah, this, this, game's, this, this game's decent. And a game that I've started, but I haven't beaten it yet. Deadly Premonition 2. I love the first Deadly Premonition game. I thought it was a very underrated game, so you know 
I look forward to playing this one day. Maybe, you know, one day and today, but still, I plan to play it and beat it because I really like this series. And, you know, got to pick this up if you get a chance. Somebody told me this is going to be worth a lot of money someday. Maybe. There we go. Keep physical alive. Okay, now we're down to the last stack of games. So, like I said, I only have 75 Switch games, but you know what? They're all bangers, in my opinion. So now, you know what? Next game is the Psycho Collection Volume 2. Another great shmups. I mean, you know what? You have Gunbird 2, you have Street Strikers 45 2, Dragon Blaze, great shmups games. So, if you like shmups, man, and like I do, gotta have this in your collection. Next game is Fire Emblem Three Houses. Another great Fire Emblem. I'm a big Fire Emblem fan. And, uh, you know what? They just keep making one great game after another. So, what can you say? And then, next game is Panzer Dragoon Limited Run. Sega Saturn is one of my favorite systems. I have tons of games, so I mean, to get Sega Saturn remakes of any kind of games, I'm on board because that's one of my favorite systems of all time. And uh, you know, to, you know, to receive this game remastered on the Switch, awesome. And then now we have the Guilty Gear Anniversary Pack 20th 20th Year Edition. I'm a huge Guilty Gear fan, and uh, you, you know this is awesome. You know to have the very first Guilty Guilty Gear one game, and then to have R plus whatever Guilty Gear on this. It's a great package. People should have it. If you're a Guilty Gear fan, you have to own this. You have to own it. Then next we have Contra Road Course. Another great game. I'm gonna, you know what, I, I love Contra. What can you say about Contra? It's just straight up bang, 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 blow, blow things up, and boom, there you go. Destroy the boss. Lots of fun. Another game that I love that I can't believe that they don't make it anymore. So this is going to go up in price one day. Astro Chain. This game extremely underrated. I don't know why a lot of more people haven't played it, but this game is fantastic. It is awesome in my opinion but I mean I love this game and then we have Bayonetta 2 I love this series I've beaten all three games multiple times and this game's another banger so I mean if you love Bayonetta buy all three of them you will not regret it that's my least Blade Strangers very underrated fighting game. I mean, I don't know why nobody talks about this, why nobody plays it. I mean, this game is a ton of fun for a 2D, brought, 2D fighter, and uh, I've, I've had a ton of fun with this game. So, definitely have to pick this up. And then, like a knucklehead, I got the Collection of Mana, and this game's really hard to read in Japanese, so, you know, I should have bought the English version, but, eh, oh well. What can you do? Another 2D fighter game is SNK Heroines, where they use all the ladies and stuff. This game's okay. I mean, it's, it's not the best, but I had fun with it. First time I got to play it was at EVO 2018, before the game was released, and the game's fun. You know, if you, you know what, you know, it's a game you should give a try. Another fighter, Fight of the Gods. What can you say? This game is over the top, funny characters of Jesus and Santa Claus fighting each other, and it's it's just I like it. I I, I think it's fun and hokey, but especially when you're playing as Jesus, so it's just kind of like yeah, you know I like this game. And the next game is Katana Kami or Way of the Warrior. You know, I mean this game is in English, so I have played this. And this game's a lot of fun. If you like uh, 2D top-down games, this game's very cool. So pick it up if you ever get a chance. Last but 
almost last but not least, we have the Grandia Collection. This is still sealed because I'm a big Grandia fan, and uh, so I bought it digitally, and then I bought the limited run Grandia Collection right after. So, I mean, that's why it's still sealed, and uh, it's going to stay sealed because I just played the digital copies, and but you have to, if you love Grandia, this, this is such a must own. You just, I mean, grand, the Grandia series, one through three, some of my favorites. And then, I have Landgrasser 1 and 2 in the Japanese collection, because I don't know why I bought this, because this game's really hard to read in Japanese, and I should have owned English, but those are really pricey right now, so stuck with this one, so, oh well. But, you know what? Langrasser is fun, even though it's not as good as Shiny Force series, but you know what? It's, it's, it's still decent. Okay, last but not least, my final game of 75, thanks for sticking with me, is Mistover. This game, damn me, and, and this is the collector's edition, so this game is really fun. I played this, I beat it, and, uh, what can I say? I mean, I mean, this is another great RPG, and you definitely have to pick this up if you ever get a chance of seeing it. It does play in English. You buy the Japanese, and it does play in English, so there's no reason not to own this. All right, well, that is it for my Nintendo Switch collection. I know it's small, but you know what? I still think I got some bangers in there and some fun games. And I love playing my Switch games, so thanks for sitting through with my 2024 Nintendo Switch collection. You have a great day. Remember, don't forget to like, subscribe, and all that other good stuff. Bye.